All right, guys, so today a little bit of disturbing news related to Cyberpunk 2077. So cyber criminals or this guy's ransomware as beta version of Cyberpunk 2077 for Android. So malware wrapped on Cyberpunk 2077. Cyber criminals are disguising ransomware as a beta version of Cyberpunk 2077 for Android. The Cyberpunk 2077 beta version for Android Online, it was completely free to download from a site bearing the name Cyberpunk2077mobile.com. The website for the alleged mobile version looks nothing like Cyberpunk 2077's official site. It looks more like a Google Play, in fact. Its creators claim the beta version was released on the same day as the official release and, at the time of this post, had been downloaded about a thousand times. Some users had even left feedback saying it wasn't bad for a beta version. Although the website lists the app site as 3.4 gigabytes, the file is less than 3 megabytes. Did the developers also create some kind of futuristic compression technology on the side? Not likely. On its initial run, the fake beta requests access to files on the device. In theory, the app might need some file access to save or open something. But no game needs your photos and videos just to load. Nevertheless, this app will not run without the permission. Now, if you grant that permission, you'll see a ransom demand, not the game they wanted. The message is in rather gargoyle English and it informs the victim that all their selfies and other important files are now encrypted. To recover them, the cyber criminals demand $500 in Bitcoin within 24 hours or 10 hours. The ransom note mentions both periods. Anyway, the note continues, if the victim doesn't deliver the money in time, the malware will permanently erase everything. According to the note, any attempt to remove the ransomware will be futile and result in the loss of the files. Are the encrypted files recoverable? Kapersky experts check to see what really happens to the files on an infected device. The files are indeed encrypted and assign the extension .coldercrypt. In addition, the malware plays a readme.txt file containing the same ransom message in each folder. The fake Cyberpunk 2077 for Android does encrypt files. Its creators are honest about that part. However, the files are recoverable. That's because the malware uses an RC4 symmetric encryption algorithm. The symmetric part means the same key both encrypts and decrypts the files. In this case, the key was hard-coded into the app, and in all of the samples that Kapersky experts encountered, it was this. I'll leave in the description below. Because RC4 is quite common, it is possible to recover the files for yourself. For example, by using an online RC4 decryption service or contacting the user support team. What's more, at least for the version of the malware Kapersky experts examined, the 10 or 24 hour deadline is completely irrelevant. The ransomware won't delete anything after a time. Its code contains no such, no such function. That said, saving a copy of the encrypted files before attempting to restore them is worth your time, just in case the recovery utility fails. Now, the Cyberpunk 2077 ransomware. Regrettably, files encrypted by ransomware are not easy to recover. For example, the authors of the fake beta Cyberpunk 2077 for Android are also distributing ransomware for Windows disguised as the same game. In that case, however, the key is not hard-coded into the app, but randomly generated for each infection case. So victims have no easy way to decrypt affected files. The ransom note for Windows user demands a thousand dollars in Bitcoin for decryption. Should you pay up? At the time of this writing, more than eight thousand in Bitcoin have been transferred to the cybercriminal's wallet. Meanwhile, file recovery is in no way guaranteed. The ransomware creators might simply disappear with the money or finding victims willing to pay the man more. Therefore, Karpersky experts strongly advise against paying the ransom. Alright guys, so why is that important? If you guys see anything that looks too good to be true, relate to Cyberpunk, uh, some free beta, some free whatever, it can be for your iOS, it can be for Android, it can be for your computer even. Uh, 
really try not to believe on that. Um, when things are too good to be true, I know um, CD Projekt Red's having a hard time right now. So people may believe that, you know, to help people so people feel better about life and all that stuff, not so mad at them. They may be offering some crazy stuff for mobile or, you know, even for PC. So don't believe on that. Uh, check it out. All that stuff came from the Karpisky, uh website. I'll leave the link below so if you guys want to read and have an idea what's going on. All right. I just thought that was important to let you guys know. I hope you guys have a great day. And hey, Merry Christmas. Come commemorate Christmas and happy everything. Holidays. Um, I should be coming out with a video talking about, you know, some free ways to get AAA games without having to pirate your way. Uh, tomorrow, probably. So I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you very much for watching.